Hi gamers and welcome to another collection update video. When I did my NES collection video a couple of weeks ago, uh, a German viewer noticed that I'm missing a manual for my Athletic World game. That's the game that, that came with the running mat. And uh, he had two manuals so he was really gracious to send me one of those. So here I have it. Of course this is the German version of the manual and doesn't really belong in my my box, uh, my game box, but uh, of course it's uh, definitely better than nothing and I really appreciate uh, him sending me this. If you're interested in some retro collecting, check out his channel, German Grinder. Thanks a lot for the manual. Then in this video I have mostly Nintendo games. Had a good run with these uh, this month. First up I've uh, previously shown some games from uh, from the Finnish uh, distributors uh, uh, warehouse sale put it like that where they dump some excess uh, uh, items for really cheap and I I, I got this already but uh, still uh, can't argue with these prices so I got a sealed monster hunter try for the Wii for 5 euros and then Pokemon White and Pokemon Black were 3 euros a piece. So I got uh, one sealed and opened one of each. So with 3 euros you really can't go wrong. So perfect for gaming and collecting. Also got one console from there. This is a brand new. Uh, Nintendo DSi, it was 30 euros, so I had to pick that up. Of course I only got one, I know in 10 years there's gonna be uh, tales of, uh, you know, did you hear about they sold uh, new DSi's for 30 euros, why didn't I buy them all, but I just got the one, I didn't have the white color, my previous DSi was black, so now I have a white one as well, at a really reasonable price. Also stores are clearing their Wii games, uh, uh, probably hoping for the Wii U to get some games and I, I'm sure it will have, but uh, found a Super Mario Galaxy 2, this is the first print edition with the DVD, instructional DVD included and this was 15 euros, of course I have this already but now I got a sealed copy as well and again can't argue with that price. Then my only um, current gen game here, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, haven't had a chance to play it yet, but of course it's a fantastic game, even though it, it has lost some of its graphical luster and, uh, and the uh, uh, screen uh, refresh rate as well, but uh, they've fine-tuned uh, the controls, you don't have to use the waggle of the we are remote anymore, everything is done with buttons, so that's a, that's a definite plus and I really like the fact that they've added uh, a world here as well, so not just a straight port. Then on to some retro, we got Faxanadu, I, of course I had uh, the sealed Faxanadu, and, uh, but now I haven't opened one as well, so I'm really happy that I'm going to be playing this game uh, for the first time in many years. And also got Shadowgate here as I mentioned in my NES video. I had this as a rental uh, cartridge uh, but sold it and but uh, now I have uh, the retail version here. These were sold to me by Opa. He sold me uh, NES and uh, Super Nintendo and uh, Mega Drive games previously at a criminally low price and uh, these were no exception. He also sold me some games so, uh, where I could upgrade the condition of my existing games. And uh, really appreciated Opa again. Thanks. I'm going to be playing Shadowgate again. And then some Super Nintendo games. Here we have Kirby's Ghost Trap, a puzzle game. I've had this box and manual for many years lying in my closet. Uh, now I found a suitable cartridge to put inside there. I've said this before, but it's really great fun to find uh, the games inside 
uh, your empty boxes and uh, lose manuals if you have them. I th feel it's almost like a collector's duty to try and make uh, everything as complete as possible. So it feels really good to make a complete uh, copy out of something that wasn't complete before. So feels good. Then also for the Super Nintendo on RPG, Illusion of Time, also known as Illusion of Gaia in the US. A bit uh, uh, Secret of Mana like gameplay here. And uh, uh, made by Enix, so not Square this time. This isn't one of the uh, more expensive RPGs, actually, it's one of the cheapest, but not still cheap. Uh, it's still a few dozen euros. But everything is here, a paper map and everything like it should be in a Super Nintendo RPG. Good stuff. Then for the black and white Game Boy, the second um, uh, Boy and His Blob game, The Rescue of Princess Blobette. It's an original game, not, uh, not a version of, uh, of an NES game re just released, toned down for the game Game Boy, but it's a, it's a uh, second game, a sequel, so that's always nice when they put the effort in the black and white Game Boy games. And finally, something that isn't Nintendo, two games for the original PlayStation. Here we have Crash Team Racing, Kart Game and Crash Bash. And that's it for my collection update this time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.